Okay, this is the start of the 2021 Alaska Airmen's raffle plane, and um, we're starting to collect parts to start assembling it. First thing here are our powder coated lift struts, and these actually came off of the airplane that we started with. Um, the tail number is going to be November 15 X ray X ray, and the Jerry strut. And Jerry Strut parts came off of the airplane that we're, that's a 1951 PA-18. Um, we got wing parts here, already powder coated. Whenever I rebuild an airplane, I always um, put the new lift strut attach brackets, front and rear lift strut attach brackets on because the lower hole, the hole on the square end is the hole that attaches the lift struts to the uh, wing and those get elongated. So anytime we rebuild a wing, we always change the front and rear lift strut attached brackets. The next and aileron hangers. And if you see the flap hangers, we have drilled off the um, hinge and that's because we're putting on airframes, Alaska pistol flaps. They're the double slotted flaps and you have to take out the Piper hinge part and put in a pistol bracket. So we drilled them out so that it's um, powder coated and can't rust. And then on, uh, whenever I build, wings I always drill a hole to let the water out from the factory it didn't have a hole here so so the water would puddle in the um, in the top of the u-channel and it would corrode then so that's another reason we take all of these off to uh, drill holes in them on the the ones that hold the flaps we always add extra weld on the um, fitting where it attaches to the false bar because right here is a typical place that I find cracked many times. So anytime we rebuild them, we always uh, re-weld re here so that there's no cracks. Okay, and a pile of stuff. Um, all of our rudder pedals and brake pedals, once again, they get a groove where the spring held them on, so we weld up the groove and then we have them powder coated um, so they're as good as new, or we replace them a lot of times with new ones. Um, all the other bracks we have here are the rudder and the, um, the rudder um, and the elevator brackets this one is a rudder bracket because it has a 3 16th hole whereas this one's an elevator bracket because it has a quarter inch hole um, other than that they're virtually the same except for the size hole um, these are more fittings for the jerry struts um, carbon fiber transition cones that we use from Randy Appling and they um, go on the wings just as a transition from the leading edge to the tip bow. These are airframes, Alaska's new aluminum lift struts, just got an STC. I just installed a set on my Cub November 8976 Delta and I had an 11 pound weight savings from the um, lifetime lift struts that I removed. It was a net 11 pound um, weight savings. Nice. These are uh, air Acme Aero shops. And 
Dean, FTC approval in time. Um, um, anyway, the new Acme Aero Shocks. them on experimental, flown them on experimentals. I'm uh, pleased with their performance. We're anticipating an STC in time for delivery of the raffle plane. Um, we've got new tail feathers. We've got from Airframes Alaska. We'll um, need to, they're already a powder coat primer. we got to paint them our orange color on the places that are visible. Um, fuselage is an airframes fuselage we took delivery on. It's got the Willow Mountain Ranch lower floorboard STC. It has the, it is missing the 2,000 pound gross weight increase. I've got to add that um, before we go to power code. Before we go to powder coat, we're going to add a tab and a tab to uh, bolt the inertia wheel seat belts to. These are here because we'll put headset hooks in that location. Um, we need to build an access to the baggage. Because the baggage comes all the way back to this station with the with the Willow Mountain Ranch lower floorboard STC, so I will build an access door um, at the second bay back because then you can reach your lower part of your baggage um, and you can reach back on your upper part of your baggage to get your sleeping bag or your wheel covers or something that you put very light. On the top upper baggage, um, we'll build a doggy door here um, where this tape is. This tape is here because I was welding on the fittings for the um, uh, Alaska bush pod or the air glass um, 32 gallon tank or the air glass. 18 gallon tank with cargo in the back they need a tab at this location for their rear strap so that's why that one's there and then in this location we'll build a doggy door i guess it'll swing this way um actually we'll have a swing down but we'll build a doggy door in this bay um, makes it easier to access the rest of the baggage without having to take the rear seat out of it. Um, if you notice, we put the wolf window in. I'll come on, the, on this side of the airplane. According to the Airframes STC, you can order the wolf door, which is this post is missing. And so you have the big sliding doors. Um, the STC has the X brace in the top. It has the inverted dog leg. Airplane's going to have a um, two bolt baby bush wheel. All my airplanes now, I go to a two bolt tail wheel instead of a single bolt. Um, it cures lots of tail wheel problems. Um, currently the airplane we're rebuilding had an um, inch and a half bush wheels so we're putting new Cleveland inch and a half 
brakes and since it already had the um, inch and a half wheels we're gonna oh there's another brake so that they look brand new. Okay, can you do that one over again? You can get noise. We're gonna put brand new brakes, inch and a half brakes. And typically it's a toss up whether you use inch and a quarter brakes or inch and a half brakes. But the airplane that we're refurbishing for this has already outfitted with inch and a half Inch and a half wheels and brakes, and we're staying that way. So we're going to put an F Atley Dodge rear seat heat kit in it. Um, so that um, actually, the way I do it is I have the new rear seat heat box go to the front seat passenger, and I run a two inch scat back and use the normal heat for the rear seat passenger. Um, because I'm a flight instructor and I don't like the scat hose under my rudder pedal. So I switch who gets which heat so that I don't have a scat hose under my feet. Because I never get to ride in the front seat. Um, that's about what we have today. We'll have lots more probably next week as we put together parts.